Welcome to Circuit Lab practice number 15, Digital Logic. My name is Mr. Burleson and you can reach me at geaux15 at hotmail.com. Digital or Boolean logic. Boolean algebra deals mainly with the theory that both logic and set operators are either true or false, sometimes zero or one. All inputs and outputs will either be true or false. Hence the reason why they can sometimes refer to it as binary. Inputs and outputs are normally shown in a truth table so you can see the direct correlation. There are multiple electronic circuits and devices including relays, switches, diodes, discrete electronics that you can use to create these types of devices. And the basic logic functions are AND, OR, and NOT. And we'll go over each one of them in detail. AND, OR, or NOT. These are the three most common and basic of your logic gates. NOT is also called an inverter because basically if I give it a zero, a NOT will give me an, a one. If I give it a one, a NOT will give me a zero. It will always give you the opposite of whatever you receive. Now, you'll notice that when we look at the the ways to show these different things is that we've got an A and B input for two inputs and an A input for a single input. And then the output is usually referred to as Q. Okay, And what you'll notice is, is that there are many different ways to show nots and ands and ors. And so what you'll notice is, is that if I put a bar over uh, some sort of logic, like if I put a bar over A, that means not A. If I put an A plus a B, that means an A or a B, okay? If I put a, uh, if I multiply A times B, that's the same thing as saying A and B. And means that both the A and B inputs have to be true for the output to be true. So that means you have to have a, both a 1 and a 1 in for your A and B for the AND to be a 1. Everything else is a 0. An OR means that one or the other, or potentially both, have to be true for it to be true. So you'll notice that the only time you get a not true or a 0, okay, is if they are both 0, okay? And there is a myriad of ways of showing this, and my recommendation is know all the different ways because you don't know what the event supervisor is going to use. Now, after they invented the AND, the OR, and the NOT, they said, you know what, we might need a NAND. And a NAND is an AND combined with a NOT. So if you think about it, it's an AND gate that has an A and B followed by a NOT gate. Or you can draw it by drawing a simple NAND gate with just, as, with just the O that you have on the outside of a NOT gate right after it. And what it means is, is that it is the opposite of A and B. So in other words, uh, two zeros, zero one, one zero, all of those will give you a true output. And the only thing that won't give you a true output are two ones. They also do, developed a nor, and a nor is an or combined with a not. And again, it's the same sort of thing. You can just put this simple circle right there. Okay, and in this particular case, everything's a zero except if both of your inputs are zeros. Okay, now you'll notice that I also included in the in the diagram uh, right underneath the NAND what a NAND chip looks like. And so the NAND chip normally would look like uh, what you see is an SN7400N 7645 chip. And then the individual chips, you can see which ones are the inputs and which ones are the outputs that go with those. And so this is how you would wire up a, uh, a chip like that. You'll also notice that it has a VCC, which is usually 
uh, 5 volts for transistor based logic and then a ground and so that's how you power the whole chip so you have the 5 volts in the ground and it powers the whole chip and then the inputs are either 5 volts or 0 volts and then the outputs are either 0 or 5 volts all chips pretty much work the same way uh, but this is just an example of what a NAND looks like you also have an exclusive OR and an exclusive NOR okay uh, which uh, is some like the exclusive or is true if a or b is true but it's false if they're both true or they're both false so in other words an exclusive or means it's zero one or one zero but and that's the only way to get a true answer and then the other two are zeros now you'll notice that they there are two different ways you can write it you can write the plus with a circle around it you can also uh, draw a line behind the or gate okay now of course they had to come up with an exclusive nor which means that this is only true if you have two false inputs or two true inputs. So a 0, 0 and a 1, 1 will both give you a 1 output, but a 0, 1 and a 1, 0 will give you a 0 output. So this right here is probably the most common truth table you'll see out there, which shows that an A and B, if it's double zeros, here's what the outputs, the Qs will be for AND, NAN, OR, NOR, exclusive OR, exclusive NOR. Those are the most common gates, logic gates that you'll be using. Okay. And as you can see, they each have different properties and they're each useful. So think about what you want from your logic output and it would determine which one of these gates you would use. And look at De Morgan's laws. And one of these is for exclusive NORs, and one of these is for exclusive ORs, okay? And what you will see is, is that in both of these cases, I can use De Morgan's Law to tell me how I should create an exclusive OR or an exclusive NOR gate, okay? And in fact, once I create an exclusive OR, I'm just going to put a... I'm, a, I'm just going to put a NOT gate after the end of it and make an exclusive NOR. Now, here's another way to show AND, OR, NOT, NAND, NOR, and exclusive NOR gates. The other thing is, is that they have something here showed as a buffer, which is just a pass-through. And so what this means is it's, it's sort of a, the inverse of the not gate. In other words, if you have a true coming in, you'll have a true going out. If you have a false going in, you have a false going out. The other thing is that you can also see it as Venn diagrams and you can see it as Boolean algebra. This is actually the table I use the most, but again, having all the different tables can be very helpful. Now, I want you to notice that when you look at the exclusive NOR gate, and the and the uh, and the and the uh, n if you look at the exclusive NOR gate and the and the NOR gate, they're actually quite a bit similar. Okay, and so that's one thing I want people to keep in mind is that each of these is slightly similar, and they're each looking at different parts of the Venn diagram. Now. There's some very common basic Boolean algebraic laws. Okay, there's a commutative property, an associative property, and there's a distributive property. And there's also De Morgan's theorem. Now, you'll notice in this case, they're not using the bars over the top of the Boolean algebra to in indicate nor or not. What they're using is they're using apostrophes. That's another way you can do it. So, um, if you look at De Morgan's theorem, Okay, I've got A and B, so so not A and B, okay, or a NAND is equal to not A or not B. Okay, and that's one way to look at a De Morgan's Law, okay? And then if you look at it on the OR side, okay, because you'll notice all these things have a very much a duality, is that A or B, that entire expression knotted, or a nor is equal to not a and not b so it makes it really simple how i would make 
a nor. A nor would be I would take a not an A. So I take an A through an inverter and I take a B through an inverter and I put it through a NAND gate or an AND gate rather. Okay, now quite often we will represent NAND and 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 NOR and OR and NOT gates using switches. Okay, so if I look at these cases here, if a is on, okay, and and B is on, so they're both closed. They both have to be closed for that light to turn on. So that means that A and B have to be on, or have to I, I have to have them both in the closed position. If either one or both of them are open or off or not then it's zero. So that's very much an AND gate there. Another way I can have it here is that if I have a voltage, okay, uh, if you look right below that, sometimes you'll say A this way and not A this other way. So what that means is, is that if it's A, if you will, okay, so if A is true, okay, then uh, then it goes one way, and if A is not true, then it goes the other way, okay? And so this would be very akin to a NOR gate, because when it's not A, that switch is closed, A is open, and the light is on. But when, it, it, when A is true, it's shorted out, okay? Now, you will also see in this particular case on the upper right hand corner it, it either a or b if either one of them is true that light's turning on so that's an or gate so that's what a representation would be for an or gate you look at the next one okay on the right hand side okay what ends up happening is that they both have to be true for that light to turn off so for me to short out that light they both have to be true. So I have to have A and B, and it's an, ex and it's an exclusive, okay? All right, and in the other case, I have to have A or B, okay? You can also do the same thing with diodes, okay? So if I wanted to draw an OR gate, in diodes, it would be in the upper left hand corner. If I wanted to draw an AND gate with diodes, it would be in the right hand corner. And what you'll notice is, is that in the AND gate, okay, they both have to have true voltage, okay, for the, uh, for V out to have any type of voltage. However, in the OR gate, if either one of them has it it flows straight out and so um, so what you'll notice here is that sometimes what they will show is that if I look over at the left hand side okay A and B are anded okay and C and D are anded but then they're both put through a diode which basically turns that into um, an OR. So it's A and B or C and D. So what I'd like you to do is update your binder to get it competition ready. I want you to find a lot of different ways to write De Morgan's Laws, put them in your binder. I want you to find all the different ways to represent AND, OR, NOT, NAND, NOR, exclusive OR, and exclusive NOR. Put those in your binder. Again, the notation takes many, many different forms and you don't know which way they're going to pick. You want to create switch and diode representations of each of the logic gates without using transistors. Okay. Now, I want you to also do it in a situation that is more verbal. So use Boolean logic gates in the following to design a system which determines if something is a mammal or not. Okay, you know, does it have a vertebrae? That could be your A input. 
Does it have a neocortex in the brain? Is it an animal? Has hair? Breathes oxygen? Some of these are required for it to be a mammal. Some of these are not required for it to be a mammal. And some of these may be required or may be not exclusively required. Now, I want you to use two resistors, an op amp, and an independent volt source to create a logical NOT gate. Okay, now this one's going to combine a couple of different things, but what I want you to do is I want you to figure out how to use an op amp to take something that would, if I give it a 5 volt input, it gives me a zero output. Okay, and if I give it a zero output, I want a 5 volt, I want a, I want a 5 volt output. Now, using that NOT gate plus diodes and resistors, I want you to create NAND and NOR gates. So we showed you how to create an AND and an OR, and you're going to combine it with that NOR that you're going to create. Okay? Or that NOT, excuse me, that you're going to create. Thank you so much, and hopefully this was useful.